Martin Luther was born in 1483 in Germany. His father wanted him to become a lawyer, but when Martin Luther was almost struck by lightning in 1505, he prayed for protection, and in exchange for protection from God, he promised to dedicate his life to the Catholic Church. So, Martin Luther became a monk, and he entered a monastery. As a monk, Luther struggled to ensure his soul's salvation, or to guarantee a spot in heaven for himself. He would pray and confess his sins for hours at a time, but he was still worried that God might not find him acceptable for heaven. Then one day, Luther read a line in the Bible, and that line changed his life. The line was, He who through faith is righteous shall live. Now, Luther interpreted that as a person can earn a spot in heaven by having faith in God. And Luther thought that because of this line, it proved that people only needed to believe in God in order to be saved and go to heaven. And Luther called this idea justification by faith. Luther's idea of justification by faith upset a lot of the powerful people in the church, especially the head of the Catholic Church at this time, Pope Leo X. Pope Leo was trying to raise money to rebuild church buildings, and he was going to raise money by selling something called indulgences. Indulgences were certificates sold by the church that were said to reduce or completely cancel out punishment for a person's sins as long as someone was truly sorry. It was kind of like buying forgiveness from God. People bought indulgences believing it would guarantee admission to heaven. Some bought indulgences for future sins or even for relatives who were already dead. At this point, Luther was working as a priest and a professor in the German town of Wittenberg, and he disagreed strongly with the sale of indulgences. He felt the Catholic Church was becoming corrupt, and because of this, on October 31st, 1517, he wrote a long list of complaints that he had with the Church, and he nailed this list to the door of the Church in Wittenberg. This list became known as his 95 Theses, Theses meaning Statements. And in his list, Luther criticized church policy. While church officials disagreed strongly with Luther's 95 Theses, the general population really embraced his ideas. Luther printed copies of 95 Theses and spread them all over Germany. As a result, sales of indulgences fell sharply, and Luther began publishing hundreds of essays arguing for justification by faith and attacking corruption in the church. With the drop of indulgences and Luther's attacks, the Catholic Church was losing a lot of power in Germany. So in response, Pope Leo X sent messengers to Germany to persuade Luther to stop his attacks on the church. Luther refused, and he was excommunicated from the church in 1521, which means he was kicked out of the Catholic religion forever. Also, his works, meaning his ideas that he wrote, were banned. Later, a diet, or council, of German princes met in the German town of Worms, and their goal was to make Luther take back his attacks on the church and to rejoin the Catholic Church. However, Luther once again refused to take back his statements about justification by faith, and he was forced into hiding to protect himself from the church. While hiding, Luther translated the New Testament of the Bible into German, so that more people could better read and understand the Catholic faith. The more that Luther wrote and spoke and studied about justification by faith, the more convinced he was that he could, or should, create his own faith, a Protestant religion, meaning still Christian, but breaking from the Catholic Church, and he aimed to call this new faith Lutheranism. Martin Luther's new church stressed salvation by faith alone, and the Bible as the only source of religious truth. He focused on biblical lessons instead of ritual, which was what was used in the Catholic Church. And Luther made sure that church services were held in the language of the people, especially German, not in Latin. Luther wanted people to understand what was happening in a mass. This is true because he felt the church was a community where all people could contribute, not just priests. 